Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition Arctic Expanse DLC Chinese Update. Boom! One breath. Professional. Professional. We are hanging out with our main man, Huang Fei Hong, and we're not doing the best that we could possibly do. We're not living up to our full potential. Possibly because of a little bit of bad RNG. Possibly because I did not play the last expedition as well as I could do due to a slight hangover, uh, or possibly just my ineptitude in general. Let's face it, I am no pro when it comes to this game. I have the hours, I have the experience, I just don't know how to apply that knowledge in reality, which is a fault of many a person. Many a person. This time around, though, we are looking at, well, three different places. They are the Merciless Jungle, we have the Rich Desert, or we are going to, more probably, the Lunatic Drylands. My thinking behind this is, we don't have a lot of money. We have virtually no equipment whatsoever. We have no Trek members other than, than the one. We need as much help as we can get. And I'm thinking the jungle seems very, very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, very profitable if you had the right equipment. Uh, the issue I have with this is the fact that with jungle being around, you can't see very far. The desert in itself... Obviously very open, which is good, but uh, it's a little bit harder to survive in uh, if you have uh, less than optimal Trek members in your group. And, well, the drylands, it's its its the one in between really, isn't it? It's, it's, op it's mainly a lot more open, uh, but you don't tend to get punished as much when travelling across it with water and whatnot. We don't have the carrying capacity for water in order to do the rich desert properly, so uh, I think the lunatic drylands is the way to go here. Let's crack on, shall we? The air was fresh and tasted of salt as I hurried to the harbour. There were still some arrangements to be made, so I imagined what my visage would look like on the society statue. We were approached by the soldier that had asked us to find Comrade the Deserter. We didn't even find the village last time around, let alone the deserter. Upon hearing that we had no proof of Comrade's whereabouts or status, he was quite disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A one-eyed hunter politely asked for my attention. He had heard about my trek and regaled me so about an evil hyena called Snarfrattle. He despised the creature with all of his heart and wished it removed from the face of the earth. A handsome reward would await me if I killed it and brought back its skin. We are not in the position to be killing Snarfrattle right now, so I'm going to have to refuse, I'm afraid. I ignored his plea. I would not kill this precious animal. No, I'm, 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 I'm a member of Peter, you know. This expedition could potentially lift me. Don't tell Peter, by the way. I've, I've killed lots of animals. Don't, please don't tell them. This expedition could potentially lift me into first place amidst my peers. My reputation preceded me, so many new recruits arrived at the ship willing to join our trek. Who did I want to recruit? All right, so we have Newton Isaac Voss, the sailor, or James Sterling, the diplomat. I think it's going to have to be Mr. Sterling for this one round. We would en enhance the expedition team with a talent such as James Sterling. At long last, the ship was primed to sally forth. Well, we don't have to worry about animal improvement this time around, do we? Much love, much love. Right, so we need alcohol. We could do with... Let's take all the rope, all the torches. We could buy bullets. We don't need the climbing gear because we got the hill climbing perk last time around anyway. Uh, bullets would probably be handy, but so would medikits. Uh, right, so let's take one of those, one of those. One of those. We do have dynamite. We do have dynamite. I'm not first by the medical kits. We'll hope to find some sort of red mushroom somewhere, anywhere. I think that's the best way. We have got the the teeth to be able to trade in, so that's not so bad. But we are lacking on dice, so I think we better go like that. Just in time, the ship was primed to head for distant shores. Well, not as confident this time around, but let's do it anyway. Oh, in on the corner again. Okay. In the thick mist of a rainy morning, we reached the land of our imminent adventure. I was curious to discover what adventures were awaiting us here. 
Let's keep a low profile and quickly find out what we came for. I am with you on this, Jim. This is going to be as quick as we can make it, sir. As quick as we can make it. All right, so. Well, let's crack on, shall we? It looks like we're going to be uh, hitting a dead end straight away. Uh, but I guess we'll see in a second. Well. Yeah, we can make our way through. Why the bloody hell not? Let's do it. I'm not too fussed by waiting here at the moment. So we have gorillas. We've got just the one flooded tile, which is fine by me. Let's crack on. Ooh. We entered a strange looking hut. The interior was particularly musty, or particularly musty, with all manner of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with a wild-eyed stare as he chewed on some leaves. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Very slowly, the shaman got out a small crate and presented his wares. Right. So, so, so. Let us take... What are you? Eagle Scout. Targeted Teleportation. Spring Creation. Or Fire. Uh, I like the Targeted Teleportation one, so we'll take you. And... We'll take the two... Mushrooms. Jim, is there anything wrong with you? No. Is everyone happy? Everyone is happy. Right. So we're not too fussed about those. Carrying capacity, not too fussed about. Scouting distance, not too fussed about. Okay, so how many teeth is that going to take? We do have these, which I'm probably not going to use. So if we gave you those, we're going to have one space taken up here. Along with that, so we're not going to have any space at all. Springs creation would be handy because we can heal at springs. Fire or Eagle Scout. Well, let's have the fire, I guess. Can we have one back? In fact, no, let's not waste teeth here. That'll do. After some negotiating, we made a deal with the shaman. Boom! Right, so, on to the next. We can just about make it to there. We're going to have to avoid the gorilla, I feel. We have no way of cooking the meat anymore, so that is a, a failed theory for this time round. Uh, we will get you promoted, though, sir. There we go. We approached a cave. The rocky morn led into darkness of unknown depths. We needed a torch to move inside. Well, let's have a gander. Ah, more mushrooms. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. Where were you last time round? We discovered a remarkable underground body of water. The water was clear as day, sustaining the growth of vegetation, primarily many colourful mushrooms. If we were to invest a little time, we would surely be able to collect a few samples. Let's have a look, see what you got. After spending a while in the cave, we had collected some seemingly digestible mushrooms. Oh, ah, we'll take you. We shall take you. Uh, are you the carrying capacity ones? No, but everyone's oh so happy. Oh, so happy. Uh, okay, well, that was fun. Let's crack on. We need to get... We need to get to that question mark. Is the gorilla going to be an issue? Well, I guess we'll see. Hopefully he'll carry on going down south. We can avoid him completely. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. Uh, let's explore. We located a cave. The Mocky Moor. Mocky Moor. The Rocky Moor seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We required a torch to explore its secrets. Oh. Anybody want to go to the slit? Anyone? Anyone? No, didn't think so. Right, so. Let us go the long way around. Drinky poop. More? Drink your poop. Still more. Let's go up north. I think we have to be a bit more selective on... Oh, so you can pass through ca caves now. Okay, fine. Uh, we need to be very cautious about what we're choosing to do, I think. If it's a little bit too far out of the way like this, which is obviously going to be a cave, it's not going to be that profitable. So it's probably best not to go there. We came across a stone formation that was obviously man-made. There are inscriptions etched into each rock. Perhaps they formed a kind of map. Where are the settlements? I need to know where the settlements are. Of course. Of course. As far away as possible. Right, okay, well, let's, uh, let's carry on. 
31. We pushed our luck and survived. Uh, oh, we've got no garlic. We'll go and have a look in the portal. I'm not too fussed about stopping around unless there's anything particularly close to us. Right, there is only the two. The only caves I don't think it's worth doing. So let's, uh, let's go back through. That was fun. All right, so uh, what we got up here? A panther. Panthers are survivable, I think. Let's go see what this is. And hopefully the gorilla will stay away. Yeah, got hit by the panther. Bagger. It's only the one mind. That's okay, actually. That is okay. We, we will take that. What be you? Heels? Uh, what we got? Ten. So let's do a precise attack. We're going to hold on to you. We're going to roll you two up. So we get the kick in the face. Hmm. Roll again. Okay, I'll take that. And uh, how many dice do you have? Three. I think I'm just going to kill you outright. Can't afford to take any more damage. What do you have for me? Uh, well, we'll take the teeth. Can we afford to take that? I don't think we can. No. That's okay. Right, so. Another whiskey. Let's see what this one is first. Oh. Uh. This is going to end badly. We arrived at a majestic structure, seemingly a holy shrine to the inhabitants of the region. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Grand stairs led up to an enormous doorway. This is not good. Ah, Jim. Are you sure this isn't your first time with us? A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. All steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. God, right, we'll take all of you. What a glorious day. The treasure was to be mine. We took whatever we could and proceeded outside as the whole area began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region and we were responsible. That is actually good for us. That is good. So, what to do? What to do? We are two slots overburdened. I think... Oh, we'll first put you up. Uh, we are going to heal both our people. We are then going to drink all our whiskey. Because if you're going to die, you might as well do it intoxicated. And, uh, well, we'll come and see what you are, I guess. Ooh, an abandoned camp. We found an old campsite. There were debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition that must have been here for a long time. The rotten remains of what must have been an Arabian explorer presented us with a gnarly smile. They must have been such wonders before they passed. Seen much wonders, not been. You can't, well, I suppose you can be a wonder, but no. Uh, I spotted animal tracks. I had to keep moving or end as someone's dinner or something's dinner. I was certain that there were riches to be found here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. <sighs> good, good, good. We shall take you quite happily, quite happily. As we left, we noticed that our presence had attracted ferocious wildlife. Oh dear. Uh, right, so. Attack gorilla? Where the hell's a gorilla? Just there. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So. So, 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 so. I am going. I'm going to use the tome of targeted teleportation. Oh, can this take me home? Let me just see. Can, can this take me home? This can take me home. Do I want to risk it? Do I really want to risk it? No. Let's eat all the chocolate. And let's travel north. We are moving away from the gorilla. Cool. I'm going to trade it. Ooh. A roaming merchant caravan had pitched up camp here. The colourfully dressed trader had a lot of useful goods on offer. A collection of lost and founds. He seemed to be fond of us and presented rare wares that he had hidden under a blanket. 
You can see we're struggling. That's good. All right, so we've got good old Jim's trading perk there. Uh, the only thing really worth anything, I suppose, would be the, uh, the dinosaur skull. Although, arguably, next time round, we can only choose from the one place anyway. Mm. It's worth quite a bit, that's the only thing. I'd rather have the cocoa leaves. And we'll just trade out some tea for them. Oh. Uh, we'll take a moonstone then. You come with a tuft. Getting closer. Getting closer. Uh, I'll do. That'll do. The merchant seems anxious regarding our possible term of any special trade goods. If I have something, you're welcome to it, son. You are welcome to it. And we still have enough teeth in order to make these guys happy for our inevitable wait for sanity. So let's eat some cocoa leaves. People are going to go mad, but we'll just have to deal with it. We'll just have to deal with it. Still? Okay. Uh, another one? Even more? Two more? Oh! James Stein started behaving strangely. Pyromaniac! Of course. Obstacles were overburdened. Uh, and Jimmo. Of course. Of course. Let's just go crazy. And now she's claustrophobic. Awesome. Cool. Let's trade some stuff out. We carefully approached a mysterious native village. The natives were apparently in reverence with the spirit world. The air was filled with a delicious scent. The villagers kindly beckoned us over and offered some of their freshly cooked food. Nice! The villagers observed us with curiosity. They were polite and offered us what they could. Is there anyone, anyone at all, who'd like to join me? I sat down and spoke with the natives to see if any adventurous spirits were willing to join the trek. However, not one of the villagers wanted to join the trek. We needed to improve our standing with these people before they would join the expedition. That's fine, we can do that. Oh, we'll press the wrong button. Uh... <laughs> Uh, right, so uh, as darkness fell, the natives lit a campfire and invited us to sit with them. An elderly couple asked me to settle an argument for them. They wanted to know which gender was superior. Both were equal. Both were equal. E e ever the mediator, I replied that both have their virtues. They smiled at me and nodded. See, we've just saved a marriage. If we could take anything out of this episode, it's the fact that we have just saved a, a marriage. I think that in itself is worth all the riches in the world, he says on a Saturday afternoon special. Uh, the night was quiet and peaceful. The following morning I woke to the sound of the village already bustling with activity. We were, this time, clearly their welcome guests. They remained kind and wanted to talk some more. Uh, right, so let's trade. So you... You can have the haggle perk. And the... Jewels would be nice. And in turn... Is it worth taking some flutes? No, no. Let's uh, let's get our standing up. We want to get our standing up a fair bit. Three will take us to two. You can recruit on two, can't you? So let's try that. Um, can we recruit now? Aha! Not long after I had assembled some volunteers and had to decide on a new recruit. So we have the animal handler, we have no animals. We have the animal handler, we have no animals. Or we have a water buffalo. Uh, we, we actually need the manpower, don't we, rather than the water buffalo. Although, if we had the water buffalo, we can mount them and move quicker. Water buffalo it is. The natives appeared happy to give us one of their water buffalo. We called her Miss James. We felt more than welcome and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. Cool. I think we're good. I'm going to leave it there. There's nothing else they can offer us. I told the men to pack up and departed as new adventures awaited us. Jimmo stayed behind for a while as she had more business to attend to with the villagers. However, she caught up with the trek not long after we had left. Awesome. Right, first things first. Let's mount you, Miss James. Mounting Miss James. Right, so we need to carry on going over to the east. That is this I completely explored, isn't it? That invariably is a cut off region, which is good for us. One less thing to worry about exploring. Uh, we do, however, have this uh, panther around. So. Uh, 
Let's get up on the hill. No. Are you, are you a cannibal? Oh, great. Uh, we are going to have to take on this panther, I think. Right, so. Roll, 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 roll. Let's do this. There's only the one. Eight damage straight off. Two left. Boom. Loot. Take all the teeth. Everything else can uh, dry out, I think. In the scorched desert. Uh, we, mm, we could eat the meat. And take the... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take the pelt. Why not? Why the bloody hell not? Let's get on to here now. Alright, so we've got a tomb. So this means that the pyramid is going to be in that top region somewhere. Uh, we are looping back around, so we can look at doing the mission at that point. I'm not too first about picking up a mummy. I think that would be detrimental to the cause right now. Being in hard mode as well means that it's more than likely going to wait up, uh, wake up. So let's head up to the swamps. No doubt this will be an elephant graveyard. Okie dokie. This bleak and ancient place was located in the midst of a swamp, scattered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, hundreds of the impressive animals had come here to die. This place surely retains some trinkets of worth. We form small teams and scour the place. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we are going to take you, because you're worth manes. As we got ready to venture on, I was concerned that, that James Sterling had gone missing. Jimmy returned alone and was oblivious to the disappearance. She explained that two of them got separated and they had lost sight of each other. I was not sure what to make of the situation, but there was now what I could do. Uh Jim comes and goes. Jim comes and goes. Right, well, let's attack the pan for them for the time being. Or two. Roll. Uh, uh, do... Do I want... No, I don't want that, do I? Roll. Right, that's what we wanted. So, you in with you two. That's down to four health apiece. That's a five animal fist. We could do with the other dice, so... A kick would take you down to one. So let's hold on to you. Roll again. Oh, we got that. That's what we wanted. What are you? Two times stunned. Uh, let's throw in all the bullets. Finish you off. Do a double attack on you and then stun you. And hopefully. Just a little hit. That's fine. We can deal with a little hit. We'll just. Uh, I want to get the heal one if possible. There we go. Cool. Oh, you healed the wrong person. We deprive the remains of anything useful. So, uh, more of those. Uh, we'll take you as well. I'm just going to have to get off you now, I think. Yep, yeah, we're going to have to unmount Miss James. There we go. And uh, on to the next. On to the next 40. Ooh. We are out. Yeah, we are out of sanity gaining stuff. This is going to get pretty bad. Bad pretty quick. Come on, hit me. The adventure was taking its toll on everyone. At night I heard a loud scream. Jimmo had been bitten and was bleeding from an open leg wound. She was screaming at me to make the appropriate measures against the animal responsible. It was obvious that Miss James was the attacker as she was trying to hide behind a large rock. I could see the blood dripping from her muzzle. No. Nope. I refused to blame the animal, which upset Jimmo beyond a civilized measure. She would need a while to accept my decision. Sorry. My bad. Uh, right, so. Okay, right, so here's the score, right? We're going to hit this shrine. We're going to come over to here because this is going to be the pyramid. We're then going to use the teleportation device to get the bloody hell out of here. And hopefully we're not going to lose anyone in the, in the meantime. 
So, to there. Examine the shrine. A shrine towered above us. Time had taken its toll on the structure. What remained of a narrow staircase led to the only entrance. Uh, we have rope. That's good. I noticed that some areas of the structure were overgrown by some sort of abnormal fungus. Its growth was tumorous. Even looking at it made me uncomfortable. Well, let's use the rope. We used the rope to safely heave ourselves up to the entrance. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Lots and lots of stuff. Take it all. I would not leave empty-handed. That was exactly what we came for. I wondered if we could harness the power of the fungus. The speed with which it spread was phenomenal. The growth was so forceful, the ground burst open, and where it opened, it turned red as if it was bleeding. I did not want to stay to find out the fungus's effect on human skin. Nope. Not equipped for that. All right, so we need to get rid of two things. What do we get rid of? Or do we risk it? I don't know why. I don't know if this is a bug. But we've got absolutely n no issue with travelling anywhere on the map right now. We're showing a 0% chance of triggering an issue. Oh, until we get to there. Uh, uh, right, okay. In which case, I don't think we should risk it. Let's get to the pyramid, open it up. No doubt use the moonstones. And then get the hell out of here. There you are, you big beautiful bastard. The pyramid of gold beckoned us to victory. Victory! Well, you just said you got beckons. A victory! Uh, however, a gate blocked the entrance. A small opening suggested that we required two artifacts for the gate to open. You can have them. This whole adventure had been a string of close calls. My ship awaited. Yes, it did. And yeah, we are officially kaput. So, where is that lovely, lovely teleportation device? Boom. And we're home. That's how you do that. Our vessel was still offshore when we anchored it. Or where we anchored it. Laying eyes on him again made me a little homesick. Well, let's go. Let's get the bloody hell out of here. I had achieved everything I wanted here. In a moment of silence, I reflected on the losses we'd endured for this brief moment of victory. Our vessel set a course for Britain. I would not wait to get... Or I could not wait to get back home and talk about what we had found here. After weeks of travelling, great joy overcame me. I knew that my name, Huang Fei Hong, would be respected within the community of intrepid adventurers. Onwards... Well, that was very fortuitous. I, I think that was completely out of my hands. It was just a case of holding on, seeing where the ride took us, and hopefully surviving at the other end. And, yes, we've lost Jim Sterling, but ultimately we have gained our water buffalo back, which means we can now carry stuff, which is awesome. And no doubt we'll pick up another person at the start of the next expedition, and hopefully whilst we're on that next expedition too. That buffalo is huge! Guess of. Right, so this time around we have Charismatic. Recruit up to two units per expedition. That could actually be very useful. Uh, we also have Bullet Hoarder, which again could be very useful, or Adept. I think, because of the situation we're in right now, I'm going to go with Charismatic, because we need a full trek in order to at least have a fighting chance to get through the sixth expedition next time around. So, Charismatic it is. So, we are a little bit behind. We've got a little bit of fame coming our way straight off. Which puts us back into second position. Uh, we are about 234 off. So, we're going to keep the teeth. We can always trade those in right at the end of the next expedition. If we survive, that is. Uh, we will gift that. That will push us up there. We're going to sell that. Two, two, ten. Right, how much are these worth? 70 and 50? So that's going to get us close to Ada. Um, I think, because we have so many teeth, I am going to sell the pelts. And then sell the tusk and then gift that. Gift that. So we are just a smidgen behind Ada Lovelace next time round. If we can finish first and have a decent haul, we have a very good chance of completing certain death in first position, which will be lovely. It would be a good way to end this. So, 
Next time around, we only have the one to choose from. The Valley of Prehistoric Lands. And there's lots and lots of villages to upset people with. So that's great. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.